you uh, your last fight, yeah, TK, or offsetting, catch up with you, yeah. Um, do, yeah, do you want to give us a brief uh, summary of that, and uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was a good, it was a good performance. Um, it was, there was three knockdowns, but he ch he tried to be awkward. But I just, um, we'd worked on a few things beforehand. Um, out out of both the fights I've had, we've had loads of opponents last minute fall through. It probably happens with a lot of people. So how does that like, like for you? For, I know each box is, you know, some of them. For them, it just they just break it off. But like, for you, how was that like when you got pull outs and stuff? Is it like? Well, some of the opponents were better than. Well, like I've had to have. I was meant to have an undefeated opponent at one point and different people, so sometimes I may be looking forward to a bit of a challenge, but yeah. it's just one of them things. Did you do a little bit of research on YouTube, see what they're like? Um, did you just go in the ring and like? I, I leave it down to my coach, really, but sometimes doing research don't really help. And then especially when you, you have a look at an opponent and it gets changed anyway. Yeah. So. Yeah, fair enough. What's, um, what's the plan next? So when are we going to see you kind of... Uh, Next. Um, Friday the 26th at York Hall. That's on the another. Yeah. Yeah, do you know who you're fighting now? Yeah. Um, no. There's a few good fights on the show though. Yeah. Yeah. What, what are you looking to do this year? Like, how many fights? Um, I want another four this year. Yeah. And yeah. then, like, start kind of stepping it up and stuff. Well, I wanna st I'm ready to step out whenever. <laughs> but your coach isn't it, probably you wanna. I said, um, my, co my coach is up for it as well. I said um, to my manager that. I want a better opponent this time. Yeah. Yeah. So Start testing yourself and see kind of like. Yeah. yeah. Normally people wouldn't after two fights, but I wouldn't. I just feel like. Um, I suppose every fight is different, isn't it? Like, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Obviously. Um, Which of so the relationship? Depending on like background and stuff. I mean, how, how much amateur career have you? I had thirty amateur fights. Yeah. So not not, not like loads, but amounts. yeah, not a massive amount. But um, I had my first amateur fight in 2012. So yeah. I've been boxing for a while. So how did you get into boxing? Um, uh, I just, <laughs> I like fighting really. And, um, you were like, kind of at school, a bit of a, like, yeah, a bit of a yeah. tear off and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, <laughs> and then, um, yeah, from there I just went down to boxing gym really. I had my first two amateur fights in 2012, I won them both. And then, um, got the bug for it. No, but then I got, I got in a bit of trouble for fighting. And then, uh, <laughs> So I had to um just like outside of the kind of boxing. Yeah, so I had to stop for a while. Yeah. And then um probably about a year and then carried on fighting. Really? And then I haven't stopped since. Apart from other little things, injuries and whatever, but what amateur gym did you box at? Um Slow A B C. Oh okay. And then uh, how many, like so from there how many how much fights did you have with Slough, obviously? Um, I had all 30 with Slough. Oh, it was all 30, yeah. yeah. And uh, do, you, do you still have like a connection with your old amateur team? Um, I'm still down there at the minute. Yeah? Yeah. So, oh, that's where you're based? Yeah, so my trainer. Same trainer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not not my same amateur trainer, but a trainer from the gym. Yeah. yeah. So it must be kind of like being at home and nice to stay in the same gym. Because I know some um, some foxes kind of, they kind of move, don't they? And, and what some, yeah. some boxers, even as amateurs, they've boxed for sort of everyone. Yeah. But yeah. I've just stayed at the same gym. Um, with your amateur career, did you uh, box outside of uh, the UK or was it all? I had um, I had a fight in um, the Channel Islands, you know Jersey. Yeah, yeah, I think it's like near yeah. Paris or somewhere. But yeah, I had a fight there. Um, but when I flew over there, I was with the home counties team, and my coach wasn't even with me, and it was a sort of a bit. Um, yeah, I weren't used to it, but I got the win. I won unanimous. Yeah. 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 So it was good. Got What made you kind of turn pro then? Did you feel it was like? You, you, know, you just had enough of the kind of amateur game, or were you, were you told, or...? Yeah, no, that, that, was, that, that was the thing, really. I'd only went into the elites once, but, um... I just... Yeah, it was just getting a bit... Just... It, it started to feel like a chore. Yeah. But, um... I just feel, I just feel fresh again. Yeah, and yeah. you just want to obviously get paid for that kind of fighting. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't think it's really more. I don't think it's about the money. I think it's just, um, I just needed something different, if that makes sense. But you got, like, with boxing, you got like a stability in your life. It's like a, like a routine and, and yeah. what have you. So you kind of got, to, kind of got to stick to. I struggled, I struggled to take the amateur yeah. seriously. Yeah, yeah. And now you're obviously taking it a lot more. Yeah. So you're signed to MTK, so obviously you've got a lot of faith in you. Stuff. Um, all right, well, listen, um, thanks again for a little bit of your time. But um, before we go, do you want to like shout out like, sponsors and all that? And, and how, how people can follow you in the gym? Um, on Instagram, Josh underscore Adewali. 
A D E W A L E. And then um, the same on Twitter and Facebook, just Josh Adewale as well. But I just want to shout out to everyone, anyone that supports me, um, buys tickets, comes to watch me, or even tunes in live, really. Just Do you know what? It's, I don't think people realise with the ticket selling, it's like so important for like boxers like yourself. Do you know what I mean? It's like, it's... You know, you have to sell the tickets to get on the show, and obviously, you know, you have to sell them out. So it's, you know, um, if people want to get tickets from you, they can get them directly from you. Yeah. Is that yeah. Right? Good. All right. Make sure, like, I'll put your, put your um, social media at the end. Like, I'm happy, so. But cheers for, uh, yeah, giving your time. And oh, oh, finally, obviously, you're here to support your, your mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Lufa, do you want to tell us a little bit, like, you, how you see the fight going? Well. As long as he as long as he sticks with his game plan, game plan, I think it should be straightforward. Really, um, I think he's the bigger out of the two. And like I say, as long as long as he sticks with his game plan, I can see him sort of walking his opponent down and um, getting a convincing points win. Yeah. And I'm not sure if you heard the rumours about Conor Ben and Luther. Yeah. Have you heard? No, I haven't. I haven't. I've heard him mention Conor Ben previously though, but I haven't heard any rumours. There's, there's some bits going around on Twitter that Conor Ben pulled out was for was potentially a fight. Therefore, Luther and Conor yeah. Ben. And so just to take your oh no, no, I haven't heard about that. That'd be a good fight though. Yeah, it would, it would, but uh, I guess we'll see what happens here. So. Yeah. Alright, cool, nice one. Alright, thanks.